Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to understand why atom reacts. We'll also understand the Lewis approach to chemical bonding. We'll try to explain the octet rule and its limitation. We'll explain formation of different types of bond. We'll describe various theories that predicts the shape of the molecule. The Vesper theory is one of the theory. We'll also explain the valence bond approach. This approach is also used for explaining the shape of a molecule. We'll predict directional property of covalent bonds. We'll explain different types of hybridizations. We'll explain the molecular orbital theory. And we'll also touch upon the hydrogen bond. Let's start the chapter with atom. What is atom? We have already studied atom in the past chapter. Atom is nothing but it is the basic unit of matter and it consists of nuclei and that is surrounded by the negative charge clouds of electrons. Electrons can be anywhere, right? It keeps jumping here and there and they are in different orbitals. And those kind of orbitals we have seen this is something called s orbitals then we have something called p orbitals like this so these things we have already studied the atom is nothing but this a basic unit of matter it consists of a dense nuclei which has neutron and proton and then a very big cloud of electron where you have a probability of finding electrons a good probability of finding electrons that's all we have atom but you see that most of the matter which we see are not atom. They exist in the form of molecules or the objects. So let's understand what is molecule. So as I told under normal condition, most of the elements exist. They don't exist independently, right? Except noble gas. Noble gas is the one which, is, which exists independently. So most of these elements form a group, a group of atoms and they are found to exist together and they have specific characteristic and they are called molecules. So a group of atom is called molecule. Please note, a group of atom is called molecule. For example, if you see there are so many atoms, atoms and with this you got one molecule. If you see this is my ethane. This is a ethane molecule which is formed by two carbon atom and six hydrogen atoms. Right? If you see this is a water molecule, so this is my oxygen and this is my two hydrogen atoms. Similarly, this is also my oxygen O2 molecule, so which has two oxygen atoms. So these are my molecules. So this is just one random molecule, I don't know the name of this, which has a lot of atoms. So examples can be you see the uh, ethane is a molecule which has two carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Water is a molecule. You see H2O is a molecule which has two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. Similarly O2, if you talk about O2, O2 is nothing but a molecule. O2 is a molecule, oxygen molecule, which has two oxygen atoms. Correct. So in normal condition, the element don't exist as atom. They exist as group of atoms and the group of atom is called molecule. Correct. Now the question is, what is chemical bond? As I told, we will talk about chemical bonds. We will also discuss why you have chemical bonds. So first let's understand what is chemical bond. Let's understand the definition of chemical bond. Chemical bond is nothing but the attractive force which holds various atoms, ions, etc. together in a chemical species is called chemical bond. For example, if you see here, my ethane, I have two carbon and six hydrogen atoms right so there must be some force which is holding these two carbon atoms which is holding this carbon hydrogen atoms and these these items these items there must be some force right without force they won't be uh, together there must be some force there must be some attractive force which is holding these atoms and that force is called chemical bond so if you see the water molecule also if you see i have my hydrogen here i have my oxygen here right so, water is like this. 
there is some force which is holding this oxygen and hydrogen and this oxygen and hydrogen and that force is chemical bond. Also if you see in case of ions, this is a sodium ion, this is a chlorine ion, there is some force which is holding these two ions and that force is called chemical bond. So if you see in the case of CaCl2, so I have calcium ion with plus 2 charge and I have two chlorine uh, ions with uh, minus 1 charge each. So there is a force which is holding this calcium and chlorine and this calcium and chlorine. Right? In this case, there is a force which is holding this sodium and chlorine. These force are called chemical bond. Correct. Now the question comes to us is, we know atom, we know everything about atom. And if you don't know about atom, you can watch my previous chapter on structure of atoms where we, we have explained how atom behaves, how the uh, atom structure is, how electrons uh, are distributed across atoms. So we have covered atoms in a pretty good way. So if you don't understand much about atoms, please watch my previous video on atoms. If we know atom, now the next question that come to our mind is, we know what is molecule, right? But the question is, why atom combine? What is there that, what is there in the atom that uh, is forcing atom to combine? Why is atom not independently existing? As I told, most of the elements, they don't exist in pure atom form, except for the renewable gases. For example, oxygen also has O2, two oxygen atom combined to form an oxygen molecule, right? One, two hydrogen and one oxygen combined to form hydrogen or water molecule. So, so most of the atom exist as molecule, right? A group of atom combined to form molecule. The question is why atom combined to form molecule, right? So the various question that comes to our mind is why atom combined? Why are only certain possible combinations? For example, I'll, I'll show you that uh, helium-2, He-2, it doesn't exist, but O2 exists, right? Some combination exists, some doesn't exist. A lot of questions. Right? So we'll, we'll explain all these, uh, uh, we'll, we'll cover all these things as we go along, right? For example, if you see, uh, why do some atoms combine while well, others don't combine? So we have, if you see, if you react helium with, let's suppose, uh, uh, hydrogen or chlorine, there won't be any reaction. But if you uh, react some hydrogen atom with chlorine atom, it will react. So such some combination is possible, some reaction is not possible. And why? So we will answer all these questions. Also, we'll see that the molecules have definite shape. All these molecules, they don't have shape, same shape. For example, Water is bent, this kind of shape, water. Some nitrogen, if you see, and to, it will be a straight shape. So some are bent, some are straight. Uh, for example, uh, some are like this, C CH4 is like this. The shape is different. And these shapes are experimentally observed. Experimentally, they have observed that the shapes of molecules are different. Again, when we observe that the shape of molecules are different, the question comes to our mind is why molecules have different shape. So we'll, we'll try to answer all these questions in our video. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.